Welcome to another adventure with getting lost. Today, we're heading to Chongpang to eat at the Chongpang Food Center. So join me after the intro. Welcome back. So, where are we today? We are actually at Chongpang. And this area here, Chongpang City, used to be, before urbanization, used to be Chinese cemeteries. But now, it has been urbanized and there are lots of HDB flats around. And this food center here you see in front of us, the Chongpang Food Center, provides hawker food to this area. And next to it is also a market, which is also very busy. And so, what we're going to do here today is we're going to come to this food center and we're going to look and try some of the foods that are popular here. That's all I have to say. Let's get eating. So, what we're going to try first is from this store called Ho Heng Kui Chap, which is a popular store. Uh, for breakfast and lunch, people come here and eat the, this Kui Chap. And the reason they come here is because of the affordable price. This is a one-person portion and it only cost me $3.50 which is very cheap. So what you have here is you have a plate with assorted items and ketchup. So the ketchup here at the side here is normal. They put in a bit of uh, deep fried um, shallots or garlic on top of it. And but the soup, when you taste the soup, it's just a savory soy sauce based soup. It has a clean, clear taste. But for my personal preference, I prefer it if they actually put in some of the braising sauce into the sauce with the noodles. But here they didn't do that. But I must also say here that their meat, their intestines, they actually cook it very well. The braising sauce here they use very delicious. It seasons the meat very well and they cook it in and it's nice and tender. They cook it very well. And one of the reasons why people do eat from this store is because the price is cheap and they give you uh, good, uh, good tasting items and the items here, the meat, the intestine, the stomach all seasoned very well, cooked very well, soft and tender and goes very well with the ketchup and then the chilli sauce as the normal normal ketchup chilli sauce and gives it a bit of a tangy sourness it helps to finish the dish so overall uh, you won't be disappointed if you eat this Kway Chap. Surprisingly, next door to the Kway Chap shop is our next place we're going to visit which is called Tian Chi Sushi. And here, what they sell is, they sell prawn pork rib noodles. And this place here also has a long queue. They're open for both breakfast and lunch. And I ordered from them, they are pork rib and prawn mee noodles which cost me $5. First of all, I tasted the soup. The soup here is super flavorful, very good. Strong prawn head flavor, savory, with a nice fried onion aftertaste. The soup here, they did it very well, very good. Then the noodles, nice and springy noodles. They cook the noodles also very well. And the prawns here, also nice and fresh. The only issue I have with these noodles is their pork ribs. Their pork ribs, they cook it nice, it is cooked well, but they cook it separately and with soy sauce in a different bowl. And they cook it together with the soup. So it's, it is like a different dish that they add together. Doesn't complement each other very well, doesn't complement the soup very well. If it was cooked together with the soup, then I would have said it differently. But this one here is like two different dish. You, this one here, you have your prawn noodles, you add in some pork ribs with soy sauce on top of it. So, clash of uh, flavors. But if I come here again, I will just take the uh, prawn noodles with me, which is very, very good. And if you do come here, you should try just that.
Up next, I've joined the queue for this store here called Chuan Ki Boneless Braised Duck. And this is one of those stores that has a queue during lunchtime. And here, what they sell is they sell a braised duck, both as a set or by itself. So you can pay $3 for a, a duck rice set or just $3 for the duck rice. So I paid $3 for the duck rice. If you order the set, they will give me some taupu, some braised peanuts, maybe an egg. But here, I have given me more duck. So I've tried the fish. And here, uh, okay, maybe for my own preference. Lah, but the rice here is slightly harder than I would have liked it. It's flavoured well, but that flavouring comes from the braised duck sauce, which they poured on the duck and also the rice. The sauce here, I must say, it is good. It has a ducky, savoury, slightly starchy, thick, braising sauce flavour. Very nice soy flavour, very delicious. Then, the herbal duck soup, also very good. The chilli sauce, spicy, and it looks as spicy as it looks. It's really spicy and slightly sour. But the sour does help to cut through the meatiness the gaminess of the duck. Here, the duck, I find it was okay. What really sells this dish is actually the sauce that they pour on everything, that covers everything. Without the sauce, it would have been a bit average. But because of the sauce, it is quite an interesting uh, duck rice. Not the best I've eaten, but I'm not disappointed. Next store, our last food item for this adventure, we are coming to this store called Super Pengek. And so what they sell here, not only Ayam Pengek, they also have Ikan Pengek, they also have Nasi Lemak, they also have Fried Rice. So you can order a few different types of dishes, but what I ordered from them is their Ayam Pengek, which cost me $5.50. First of all, I must say, the chicken here, fried it very well. It's still hot inside. The skin is crispy and thin. But unfortunately, if not mistaken, they didn't really season the chicken at all. So what you actually get is just a well-fried fried chicken. Then you also have this chili paste, which is an important feature of any ayam pingit. The chili paste here, when you first taste it, it's not very spicy. A bit tomatoey, a bit thick, sweet, but do be careful because the spiciness does build up slowly. So the more you eat it, the spicier it gets. And then they also serve you with a really nice bowl of light uh, chicken soup with a ginger aftertaste in it. Very nice, a very good finish to the dish. Overall, chicken not very seasoned but fried very well goes together with a spicy chili but as an ayam pingit there is a missing like really spiciness kick or a flavor bomb that is missing from the ayam pingit that, that I've eaten here so interesting ayam pingit but not something that will come all the way here to eat and also one more thing when I was here I noticed that the market because the market here if you look at the market is very busy, full of shops open. A lot of markets nowadays, if you travel around the island, the markets are not fully occupied, but here, lots of people are still occupying the stores at the market. And then, it's very busy, a lot of people, this is in the afternoon, and people are still walking around buying things. I suspect it's maybe because this location here is not near any MRT or any big supermarket, and also far away, and more remote so people do come to market and use it more but other than that i must say this is a very nice and interesting market and also now it's chinese new year and basically in chinese new year you see this all around there are a lot of pop-up tents and in these pop-up tents which will pop up all around the island they will sell a lot of decoration items so as you see a lot of decoration are in red because for chinese uh, Chinese people believe that red brings good luck as also in gold. So what you can do is you can buy decorations like uh, words that are good luck. 
can see that or you can buy the mouse a picture of a mouse because it's the year of the mouse you also can buy talisman you can buy other kind of knickknacks decoration stuff lanterns you know, all these things you can use to decorate your house to bring good luck to your house and then you also can have all these kind of funny funny things and also you can also have a spinning uh, pineapple and a, those uh, Japanese uh, lucky cat so I guess that's part of um, bringing good luck to your home nowadays Chinese New Year style and finally this brings us to the end of our food adventure here at Chongpang and I really enjoyed my visit here at Chongpang because like I said earlier, Chongpang is more remote area, further away from MRT, further away from those big shopping centers. So this place still has a neighborhood feeling. You can come here, you can feel the neighborhood, let the neighborhood feel you. You can have lots of feelings together, you know, feel. And so if you like that, come here. Oh, and I also made a how to get here video, the link will be in the description down below and also at the end uh, I guess that's about all so before you go please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and also subscribing to my channel and lastly but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure I will see you there yes you there I will see you that person there there